Hi everyone, Ricky Lee here, coming to you live today from my home in London, and today I'm talking dreams. I'm talking about how to become a long dreamer. Now, um, basically, I wanted to talk about this today because a lot of people have, well, I've noticed, it's that kind of time of year where you start feeling really deflated, really unhappy, really uncomfortable, and really um, kind of just dissatisfied with what has actually happened um, with your year. And so if this is you, if you've like gotten to that point in the year where you're just like, oh, I have not gotten done what I wanted to get done. I have not like achieved what I wanted to get achieved and I'm just feeling a little bit deflated. I don't know where my goals are. I don't know where I'm at. So if that sounds like you, please drop a number one. I noticed that usually as soon as October hits, I'm that person where I'm just like, I just, I don't know, I'm done, I feel done with the year, I feel done with everything, and I just want it to hurry up and end so I can start new again in January. Usually that hits me in October, right? And what I've noticed is it's hitting a lot of people from October. I've been speaking to a lot of my friends, and they're just like, I just feel done, like I'm not happy, I just feel like I'm chasing my tail, and ugh, I feel ugh. So, um, you know, this can happen when you're living in a colder climate, because winter or the colder season kind of hits from October, but in Australia, kind of have no excuse. Like it's summer, we should be feeling good, right? But so many of us are feeling drained and done. So what I want to do is come to you live today and kind of share some insights as to how um, you can be a long dreamer, how you can define your dream and how you can hold on to your dream. So if you join me live, by the way, please drop the word live in the comments below. Thank you for the love. Um, if you join me on the replay, drop the word replay. And if you and I have never really had a chat before, go ahead and put the word new in the comments below. I'd love to reach out to you and have a chat. So guys, my name is Ricky Lee. I'm an online entrepreneur. I am Australian, but I'm currently living and working from my home in London. Now, there is a lot of things that I feel that I have achieved, but there's also a lot of things that I have not achieved, right? The thing that I'm most proud of is that I define myself as a long dreamer. And what that means is a long dreamer is someone who, um, you know, defines a dream or has a dream and then holds on to it. Holds on to it not until, um, you know, the end of the week or the end of the month. Like, I will have a dream and I will hold on to that dream until I achieve it, um, whether it take a year, two years, ten years, doesn't matter couple of decades, I'm someone that is a long dreamer. Now, I've not always been a long dreamer and I've definitely given up on stuff in the past, but now I can, you know, quite proudly say that I'm a long dreamer. So what I want to do is today is just share some insights as to how you can be a long dreamer and actually, you know, reach your goal, define your goal, reach your goal and to be proud of your efforts because I know we all put in a lot of effort. You know, we haven't gotten to October, November now. We haven't gotten to November now and gone, oh, no, I haven't, you know, I haven't reached my goal, but you're exhausted from the, all the effort that you've put in, right? So it's not that you're not putting in effort. It's it's a few other things that we're going to be able to cover today. So I hope that's going to be helpful for you guys. If you're excited about that, drop me number two. Um, so the first thing is this, and it might sound really basic, but it's really, really important to first of all define your dream and to ask yourself, like, what do I want and why am I doing this? Whether it's you're going to your job or for us as entrepreneurs and building our own businesses, like, why are you doing this? And if your answer is extra income, I'm going to say, well, look, I could give you a dollar now. That's extra income, right? That's not why you're doing this. You need to go deeper into why you're actually doing this. Why do you get out of bed in the morning? Why are you building a business? Why are you chasing this dream? Dig deeper. Really find out why you're doing it. And so the first step is to really define your dream and why you have that dream. So um, there was actually a bit of a study done on this. So people that were high performers. Now there was a study done on how quickly they could answer what their dream is and why they have it. So high performers typically can answer seven to nine seconds faster than the regular person as to exactly what car they want, where they want to live, what income they want, what they want their family to look, at, look like, what's their ultimate goal, what's their ultimate dream. Like they can actually answer that question typically nine, seven to nine seconds faster than the regular person. 
Why? Because their dream is at the tip of their tongue and not at the back of their throat. So it's really important to not only like know specifically what your dream is and why you have it, but also to have it at the tip of your tongue. Like I should be able to tap you on the shoulder right now and say, what is your greatest dream right now? Like what is your goal right now? And you should have it, right? By the way, if you're someone who likes to share your goals and dreams and have a little bit of accountability, please feel free to comment your dream or your goal, your current um, goal in the comments below, or you can always PM them to me as well. And I love helping people to stay accountable. So the first thing, I, like the next thing after you define your dream and you define your goal, what do you do then? And it's a lot to do with expectations. So it's not just visualizing it. It's not just, um, you know, it's just going to happen. You know, I'm just going to, you know, define my dream and then go after it. There's a lot more to it than that. Um, and so the next thing, the first thing is to define your goal. And the next thing is to manage your expectations. Now, I'm not saying that you can't reach for the stars and go after whatever you want in your life. But you do need to manage your expectations because the problem is, is if your dream is a 10 between on a scale of one to 10 and your dream is a 10, it is way up there, but your effort and your work is only at a three, there's going to be this huge area of frustration and this huge area of, I can't do it. Right. Um, so it's a really important step is to manage your expectations. And when, you know, when I'm helping my team, when I first actually um, have a game plan interview with someone, I will always ask them, you know, what is your goal? What is your dream? And then the next question is always, OK, how much time can you put in? How much time can you put aside a day to build your business? And, you know, if someone's saying like, look, I want to have a $10,000 a month income in the next three months. And I ask them the question, OK, that's fine. How much do you want to put into this? Like how many hours are you willing to put into this? And their answer is one hour. I have to manage that expectation because it takes time. It takes time to build your credibility. It takes time to build your business. It takes time to personally build yourself, to get yourself to a $10,000 a month income. You know, there's so many people that are like, um, okay, I want $15,000 a month, but are not willing to actually put in that effort. So first of all, define your goal. Second is to manage your expectations. And it kind of leads into the third part. By the way, if that's making sense, please drop a number four. It leads into the fourth part of becoming like a long dreamer and a strategic long dreamer. It's to make a commitment that is equal to your dream. Make a commitment that's equal to your dream. If you want 50, if you are at your current job now, you know, I talk to people that are in a full-time job and they've been working in that job for 10 years or 15 years and they're making $3,000 a month, okay? That's not, a, you know, $4,000 a month. That's not a bad income, right? And then they go in to build their own business and their expectation is that they want to make $15,000 a month in three months and they only want to put one hour a day into it. Well, we need to manage that expectation, like I said. I have to pull down the dream and push up the commitment and the expectation push up the commitment, right? And there, thereby the expectation, that frustration gap is going to get less and less and less and less. So if I was to ask you a question and say, look, in three years, in three years, if you could be making the same income that you're making now, but work half the amount of hours, would you do it? Would you commit? If you could in three years, be making the same income that you're making now at your full-time job, but put in half the amount of effort, like work half the amount of hours, would you do it? Yes or no? Okay, and let me ask you this. If you could double your income in five years and work half the amount of hours, again, would you do it? And that's exactly where the secret lies. It's like long-term thinking. It's delayed gratification. And so for me, when I first went into business, um, you know, I remember sitting at the conference, I remember sitting there and going, um, yeah, this is me, I'm going to make this month, this much in next month, I'm going to be financially free before I'm 25, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And, you know, my leaders and, and the people above me were trying to manage my expectations. They say, look, this takes time, this takes consistency, this takes effort. And I was thinking, no, 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 it takes everyone else time. Me, I'm going to do this in three months. I'm going to be making 15K in three months. That's me. 
And I went through so much frustration because I had that goal, but I did not manage my own expectations and I did not manage my commitment levels. Like I didn't bring my commitment levels up to my dream level. I was dreaming at a 10 and my commitment was at a four. So of course there was a frustration gap, right? So that's where we sit when it comes to you know having our dreams and having our goals and setting them out. We're at the 1st of November now, and I'm telling you now, you will overestimate what you can do in a week or a month. You will completely overestimate what you will do in a week or a month, but you will totally underestimate what you can accomplish in a year, five years, or 10 years. So if you're looking at the fact that it's almost the end of 2017 and you are freaking out and you realize that you have not managed your expectations correctly, if your commitment level is way below your dream level and you're thinking, how did it get to this point? Maybe you just need some kind of guidance. Maybe you need someone to help you to manage your expectations and to manage your commitment levels. Really think about like, what is my dream? What does it take to get there? You know, am I performing at a 10 if my dream is at a 10? Can I kind of balance this out so that my frustration gap isn't there so much? So I had a um, team meeting with my team yesterday over Zoom, which is really cool. Um, the hashtag dream team, love them to bits. Um, and, you know, I have been in business for about six or seven years now, and I've had leaders come and go, and I've had teammates come and go. But what I want to share is this, is the people that, make it. The people that will stick it out with you, they're the long dreamers. They're the ones that understand that consistency is everything. They're the ones that realize that you have to be consistent to be a long dreamer, to reach that goal and to, um, and to accomplish what you've been working for. It doesn't come overnight. It doesn't come in a week. It doesn't come in a month. You know, if you've got a big dream, it's going to take time. And even to the point where I am now and where I'm going in the future, I know that it takes time. It took time to build my business to a point whereby I can live overseas and, you know, not go to a nine to five job. It took time to build my business. It took time to help build other people. It took time to build myself, to build my credibility, to build my skills, to build my um, belief in myself. It took a lot of time and it's going to take a lot more time, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with being a long dreamer. I'm okay with putting in the effort now and working hard now so that my life is easier later on. Because if you work hard now, your life will be easy. And if you, you know, do the what's easy now, your life is gonna be hard in the future. If you feel that, drop me a number five in the comments below. So what I really wanna to share today is this, is get committed and stay committed. Get excited and stay excited. Don't let it wear off. Keep your dream at the tip of your tongue and not at the back of your throat. And if you need some help defining what your dream is, defining why you're doing this and managing your commitment and managing your expectations, reach out. Reach out to someone who's in your field. Reach out to someone who has, some, has what you want or reach out to someone who, know, who you know could help, someone that can keep you accountable. You know, we've got this fantastic Live Clean Loyalty group that I help admin and it's great because every month or, you know, every week we're, we're putting out our goals to like-minded people who want to help us, who want to help us achieve and who want to support us and just having that accountability of someone else knowing what your goal is someone else helping manage what your expectations are and what your commitment levels are, it makes all the difference. Like accountability is huge. So guys, I hope you got some value today. If you did, please drop that hashtag value in the comments below. Please feel free to like, share and comment. Of course, I always appreciate that. Um, I'm constantly learning how I can better myself, but um, help my team improve my business and really take us to you know, the next level and I honestly believe that the saying is true, like you can achieve everything you want in life if you help others achieve what they want. So that's why I come to you guys, whether you're in my organization or in my business or not, that's why I come to you live and I, I wanna share what I'm learning. I wanna share um, my insights and my hacks and my business tips and my um, whatever I possibly can so that hopefully you will get some value in your personal life, in your business, in your organization. And so that's it from me today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I respect you and I appreciate you. Um, and I have a lot of admiration for all the people out there who 
are wanting to improve themselves, not just those people that are achieving. If you've decided that you want to do better, you're already ahead of most people. So congratulations on that. Happy 1st of November. Let's finish this year with a bang. And if you need some help, just give me a hoy. Until next time, you know the drill. Be good or be good at it. Bye for now.